everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. from the down below I will be unboxing the newer 18 inch ring light today so let me just show y'all real quick um I bought this maybe like two or three weeks ago but if you're new to the channel and you don't know I do make college videos so I am currently in college and I know our male room it tends to get really busy and you know, I just didn't really want to risk it getting messed up by having it get sent to me at school. So I just had to get sent to the house. So it's been sitting for a couple weeks now. So I'm just going to unbox this and show y'all everything that comes in the box and all that. But before we get into that part of the video, I'm just going to tell y'all um, more details on this ring light if you don't already know. I got it from Amazon. I got the newer 18 inch LED ring light. This comes with a dimmable lighting kit and it comes with the light stand, the filters, the hot shoe adapters for you to put your phone or your camera on. And I did not get the carrying bag. I know some people do get the carrying bag, but for me and my purposes, I don't really need to move the ring light that much. The most I'll be doing is, like I said, I do, I am in college, so the most I'll be moving this ring light is just from the house to school and from school back here. And I don't really think I need a carrying bag for that especially if you do not know if you're looking for this the carrying bag does not fit the stand and that was my main reason for why I would you know why I would want the carrying bag so if it doesn't fit the stand it didn't really serve a purpose for me I can I might as well just be carrying all of it if it's not gonna fit the stand so that was that and I did get this when it was on sale and it's still on sale right now what it looks like it was $89.99, which is already a price drop from what it usually is if you know anything about ring lights. And it, I got free shipping handling because you know, usually with Amazon, if you buy something that's over like $25, they usually ship it to you for free. So I, shipping handling was free and I had an extra coupon savings for $15. So I ended up spending $74.99 before tech. And all of this was on Amazon and I will link it down below as well so you guys know where to get it from and I did buy this myself with my own money no extra stuff came out of it so I'm just gonna open up the box and as I'm opening it I'm gonna show you guys what comes in the box also if you're wondering right now the lighting may be a little bit different if you've seen any of my other videos before usually the lighting that I do use is nothing special I just use a desk lamp and that's usually about it but since I am Currently in school, my desk lamp is in my dorm and not here. So the only light that I'm using is my like regular room ceiling light and I'm using an LED light and I'll probably put a video on the side of what all of that looks like, but it's nothing special that I'm using right now. So hopefully we see a difference with this light. <laughs> so there's nothing that really comes on the box itself. The box looks pretty good and undamaged it does say fragile handle with care so i'm hoping that nothing in here is broken i don't have to send it back to them um it says it was made in china but it looks like it came from kentucky but of course you could get it sent or whatever um but nothing on the outside of the box looks pretty crazy so i'm hoping that everything inside the box is good <laughs> um there's just tape on the top, one strip of tape that I'm going to open up. Let me show y'all if I'm doing it a little bit. But y'all, if you are seeing this in time, please get it on sale. One thing about me is if I know that something is cheaper, I'm not gonna buy it when it's really expensive. And I know these lights can get really expensive. So try to get it while it's on sale. So I just opened up the box and as soon as you open it, um, there's nothing fancy and it looks like everything is covered in some boxes. And there's two little phone pieces at the top and there's just some boxes right there. 
So let's get into it. Get into it. Yeah, get into it. <laughs> Okay, so as soon as you open up the box, there is this smaller box that's kind of on this, my left hand side, your probably right hand side. So when you open up this box, it's just a long sort of thing, nothing on the outside that says anything. There's tape on one side at the end of the box, and there's no tape on this side. So I'm just gonna open up this side with no tape on it. So see my face. When y'all open up this box, you said there are like some bags filled with stuff in it. So this looks like it is the stand for the light and there's nothing else in the box. So just this long box holds the light stand. Let's open this up. All the bags are secured so you know that no one else has used it and it's not like a return sort of thing. Everything is sealed, which is a good thing because you do know that some people do return stuff. There's nothing wrong with that. But if they're going to return something, it's nice that, you know, they take that extra step, even though I don't know if this, is, if this was returned before or not. So it looks like a regular light stand. It does say newer on it, so it's not like not personalized or anything like they just gave you one of those or I don't you know what I'm trying to say one of those regular things so just open it up and yeah so I'm gonna set this off to the side and I'll set it up more later now let's get back into this box you take these things out the top of the box like y'all saw me show you earlier and then there's another smaller box right on the top this one does say newer on it and it has some dimensions I guess right there and on the other side this box looks like you open it up this way there is no tape on this box so and you just open it right there but there's no tape on it so when you open up this box, let me put this over to the side. When you open up this box, it looks like there is some newer sort of packaging and some documents and stuff for you to look at. And basically, it looks like everything is in here. So let's get into it. The first thing is the ring, it's a newer ring light installation instructions. And it just talks about all the accessories in here, the light stand, how to set it up, how to put the color filters on, how to put your, how to set your phone up, the Bluetooth, all of that sort of stuff. Then the other one is just newer customer service. It says how you can contact them. They have a US phone number and they do have a UK phone number. So if you are overseas with the UK, you can also get this as well. And they do have a customer service representative specifically for y'all and they have their email information on here they have their support portal um website on here and they do also have a qr code that i guess has all this information on it just to make it easier for the customer which is amazing i love when businesses do that sort of stuff to make the customer experience a little bit more is easier um and if you have any questions about product set, warranty, or repair, or any other issues, we are glad to help. And there's nothing on the other side. Y'all, I am one of those people that read their stuff, so yeah. So one of the first things I see in here is the Bluetooth remote shutter. My one is red. I'm not sure what other color other people get. Other people get. It looks like they have a button for iOS devices and a button for Android devices. But I'm going to be honest. I am probably most likely not going to use this. <laughs> but it looks like it is something that you do pair up with your phone in order to like take videos or pictures with, which is pretty cool as well if you are someone who wants to do those sort of things. So I'm just gonna bring it closer so you guys can see more of what I'm talking about. But that's one of the first things that they have in here. Then they give you the whole they give you the um the mount 
thing that you put your phone on, which is pretty sturdy. It looks like the one that I use right now for my phone, which is pretty cool. I guess you just screw this on to the bottom and then you can expand and put your phone on this part. And it seems pretty sturdy if you're asking me. So that's cool. Then they give you this adapter thing, I think. Oh yeah, you can use this for the camera, but I also think this is for um, your regular phone as well. I think this is what you put on the stand. And then, y'all let me not break this. Screw them around. And then you screw this bottom part into here. What I'm thinking is how you set it up because that's usually how you would set up like the regular tripod that I'm using right now as well. So that's pretty cool. One thing I do think, but I don't see a lot of brands who do this with their tripods or anything, is it would have been really cool if there was a um, measure on here. With the tripod stand that I'm using right now, there's a measure on it. So that basically tells you if you're level and if you're straight or if you're crooked. And I thought like that would have been really cool with this because it's really hard to tell if you're straight or not as far as like your angle. But that's neither here nor there. Then the next part looks like what you plug into the wall to get the power supply together. So there's a really big block thing we dig you. The battery part is huge. And then you just take this and you connect it. Connect this in here. And you connect this into the light and this into your wall. And you just set it up like that. And this does have newer on it. So it's not like the regular generic sort of thing. They did put a little personalization on it. <laughs> then you just have your white filters and your orange filters. I'm not really sure how I'm going to set mine up right now. I'm going to go through all of them with y'all because... I don't really know which one would work best for me, but they do get your light filters in a little bag. I think that was all that was in this box. So now I think the last part is just the ring light. So let's open that. Yep. This is the last box in here. So there's nothing more in this big box. There's nothing more in there, y'all can see. <laughs> so now, you have what y'all all been waiting for, the newer ring light box. This is newer ring light, newer ring light on both sides. There's tape on the bottom and there's tape on the top. And there is nothing else. Oh yeah, so as soon as you open up this box, there is some foam right there and the light in there. So this is soft foam. And that looks like the only sort of protection. All right, there's one more thing. They have just another piece of foam on the other side. So not super protected, but I guess okay enough. Okay, y'all, so when you open up your light, it looks like this. I'll bring it a little bit closer so I can see all the details. So if you have LED light strips in your room, you probably notice what this is. So these are all the LED lights. Of course on the back it says newer. Then you have your switch to turn it on and off your dimmer. And that's about it. So what I'm going to do is set this up so y'all can see it. And I'm gonna show y'all as I set it up, how it looks and all of that. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to break this or nothing. it's so much easier so if you were struggling like me to get the stand and light stand up there just push it from the top sweetheart that's it so you just feel like that it feels pretty stable on the ground and okay right, so then you just unscrew these parts just to loosen them and get them to your desired length I'm 
I'm gonna show y'all how tall it goes and then in comparison to me. So it's pretty much at eye level or kind of like at my forehead. I am five three and a half, five four-ish on a good day. Um and let's do this part. Y'all, this goes very high. Y'all can't even see it all the way. I still don't even know if you can see all the way. But this goes very high. Basically, if I put my hand all the way up, there's still a little bit more. If I go a little bit on my tippy toes, then I'm all the way at the top. So we're gonna bring this back down, but do know that you can, like, this light stand does go up pretty high. But I don't need it that high for what I'm doing today. So you should put the light filters on first. So we're going to start with the white light filters just so we can see how that would look. Don't be scared to be a little rough with it because you really have to clip them on. You can try to be all gentle, like how I was doing at the beginning. They are not going to clip on as good as they could. And they kind of overlap a little bit, but just get it on and then push it over. Okay, y'all, so little tip. Put this bottom piece on first before you put the other parts on so they can all fit. So now that we have all the pieces on to the light properly, we want to take this black piece off of the tripod stand just because, or the light stand, just because if you try to put this light on without taking this off, it's not going to stay on right. So make sure you take that part off. Now you want to loosen this lower wheel thingy right here and put it on to the stand until it goes all the way down. And I don't want to speak too soon, but I don't know if y'all can see this. It's fully tightened, but it is doing a little wobbling which isn't too bad for me because I don't think I'm going to be putting my phone on here. For the video, I am, but just know that it isn't the sturdiest. Okay, so I wouldn't too much rely on putting something like a big heavy camera or something on here because I do not think it would stand up for a bro. Okay, so the next step is to put the adapter on that they gave us. Let me tighten this up a little bit. but. The adapter that I showed y'all earlier, where you just put, you just screw the phone part on. We're going to slide it in to this horseshoe area right there. Y'all can see. And I like my phone going back way when I record. So nothing keeps it sturdy in here. Just let y'all know so it will, it will wobble. So it is you really want to make sure that everything else is pretty sturdy when you do this because like you can see there's nothing keeping this from not wobbling now i'm going to put the light in and or the power source the battery in and let's see what this light can do baby the battery is Plug in, and okay, so this is it. As, as soon as you turn it on, it's pretty dim. And then, this is really bright, y'all. This is as bright as it gets. I'm pretty sure y'all can't even see me right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the light so you guys can see how this looks with no light on in the actual room. So let me do that real quick and then we're gonna come back over here. Okay, y'all, so there is no light in this room right now. There's just a smaller like night light on. But other than that, there is no light on in this room. So I'm pretty sure you can't even see me talking right now. And this is how the light looks when you first turn it on. And let's see how bright this gets the room. 
this is as bright as it gets and now i'm going to put you guys on this stand and let's see the difference on how it looked before and after okay y'all so the ring light is not on all i have on are the led strip lights in my room that i showed you guys earlier and i'm going to turn these lights off and i'm going to turn the ring light on and we're going to see what it looks like what the difference is if you like it if you don't like it if we're going to keep it not going to keep it who knows so let's turn it off <laughs> and so close to it but here's how it looks when you first turn it on we already look different like we look so bright and here's it all the way not too bad it is pretty bright to look at but it keeps you really focused all right so here's it fully lit and i'm going to try to put it like kind of in the middle here is it at like 50 percent with just the white light on so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna switch these lights out for the warmer orange lights or the warmer orange filters and we're gonna see if we like that or what that's gonna be about so let me switch the white filters into the orange filters and let's see if we like these ones compared to those ones or what but i can't tell you guys right now i really do like this because like literally i do not have my room light on nothing in this light nothing in this room is on like i showed that before it was pitch black in here and with this on by itself it is very bright which i like so that means like the lighting is gonna be really good in the video so now okay so let me switch into these and let's see how it looks okay y'all so now i have all the orange filters on and I don't see a really big difference, but I do like this light a little bit more. It looks a little bit more natural lighting to me. It looks better. It looks like it complements my skin a little bit better. It's not all the way up. It's kind of at the same part where it was before, but here is it all the way. Here is it all the way up. And I really do like it. I really do. I'm not going to cap. And now what I'm gonna do, cause I've seen this before with other two do, two of them with orange and two of them with the white. And we're gonna see how that looks. We're gonna see if we like it and what vibe that's giving off. <laughs> okay y'all, so now we're at 50-50 with the two orange. I have orange on the top and the bottom and I have white on both the left and the right sides. And I really do like this. I think I like this more than the all warm or the all cool. And we're at like 50 right now, so I'm gonna take it all the way up. Ooh, okay. Okay, so I really do like this. I really like this. I'm gonna turn it back down, actually. <laughs> turn it back down. Just at 50, I kinda like it right here. So we're just gonna finish out the video from here. My first initial thoughts about this is I really do like it. One thing that I can say, I'm not sure if anybody else has said this in any of their videos, but the clips, I have some right here. But the lens filters and stuff, they're cool and all because you can switch them. But the only thing that I can say is that it is kind of hard to get these on. Even when you get all of them on, they kind of, because they're supposed to overlap a little bit, they still don't fit all the way, like perfectly. And there's no, like, that's not a big issue, but if you do have something like this, it should fit the light perfectly. I don't know if it's just me or what, but I kind of do like that you're able to do this. I know there is another ring light from Mountain Dog. Yeah, Mountain Dog. And that one doesn't come with filters like this, but instead it has a, um, like a knob, like the dimmable knob that we have on here. It's able to switch it from white to all like light and warm light to the brighter white light, which is cool and all. But like I said, right, like earlier before this, I kind of do like the half and half. I like how this looks compared to all white light or all warm light. Okay, so the one overall con that I have about this is the 
mount that the light goes on is not sturdy at all. If you see me coming up here, literally this is how it moves. There's nothing to make it tighter or anything like that. So if the wind is bad, <laughs> it's going to move. If your phone is heavier, kind of like how mine is, it's going to move. So I'm pretty sure I'm still going to be using my tripod for my phone to film either behind or in front of the actual light because it's not going to work at all because you're the way that it moves your whole angle will change if it's not set up correctly so other than that i feel like that's one thing that newer needs to work on other than that everything else seems pretty sturdy it seems pretty good it seems like it's going to last for a good amount of time and i'm probably just going to be keeping everything in its boxes for storage just so it can stay nice and sturdy and tight and all that so y'all let me know Y'all let me know, are y'all feeling this light? Are y'all not feeling this light? I'm gonna show, if I can, I'm gonna do a before and after so you guys can see kind of how it looked before and kind of how it looks right now. I do like this and I'm excited about it. So if you got the newer ring light, let me know down below if you like the light or if you're going to go get this light or if you think that there's any other light that you think is better for recording, take pictures, whatever you do, let me know. I do like the ring light and how it's nice and portable compared to like a box light or anything like that that other people usually get but y'all let me know down below i'm really excited about getting this like though so that my videos can have more proper can have a proper light ting set up but i do like this light so that my videos can have a better setup i'm sorry if this video was a little too long but i did want to get into all the specs i know some other videos that you guys watch all the specs are in there so I want to get into everything I want to show you guys how it is from start to finish and yeah so just from here I'm just gonna break all this down put it right back in the box like I said before and that's how I'm going to be transporting it from place to place because I don't really need a big bag or anything of the such like that I think I'm pretty good with boxes so y'all let me that so y'all let me know down below if y'all like this if y'all like the lighting setup that I have if y'all think that there's any other sort of tech tools or gadgets that I should try out, any other lighting tips and hacks, let me know all those down below because I'm really open to figuring out more about how to get good lighting and all that sort of stuff. So I want to thank y'all for watching this video. If you did like it or if y'all want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the like button that's down below and also subscribe to see more videos from me i make college videos lifestyle videos i do unboxings product setups and all of that so remember if you want to see more of me follow me on instagram at i am sincerely Dree, and you'll see more of the behind the scenes of all these videos so remember that i love y'all and my name is sincerely Dree, and i'll see y'all in the next one bye